Welcome to PMC Tech. Today's tutorial is about adding trigonometric function in LaTeX or Overleaf project. Let's get started. To begin with, we are going to see how we can add the sine, cosine, tangent, and any other trigonometric function in LaTeX or Overleaf project. Let's get started. So first of all, we create an environment for writing equations. So this could be the begin equation and end equation environment or we use the dollar sign for this one we are going to use the dollar sign so in between the dollar sign there that's where we are writing our trigonometric function so to write sine x sine theta what you need to do is do backslash and then you write sine so we are putting this sign in bracket sine x when we compile, we see that the sign x, the x is in the brackets. But if we don't want the x to be in the brackets, we can use this command with curly brackets. So we put x there and then we have sign x where x is not enclosed in the brackets. For cosine as well, we do backslash and then you write cos x. Same applies to the tangent tangent as well you do backslash tan if you want it in brackets you can put brackets if you don't want it in brackets you put the curly brackets there when we compile we see that we have sine cosine and tangent the other trigonometric functions like the cosecant the secant and the cotangent we can write them as well like backslash so for the cotangent you just do backslash cot x and then for the secant, you do backslash SEC for secant, which is just right here. And then the cosecant, you do backslash CS, that is for cosec or cosecant, CSC, like that. We come here and recompile. And here we have it. We have tangent, cot, sec, cosecant, as easy as that. So now we can try to put this in the equation or an expression. We try like sine theta is equal to like this matrix right here. For this one, let's try to create an environment where we say begin equation and end equation. So here what we're writing is a sine theta which has a tilde on top so we do backslash so we're using this one so sine theta so for theta you do backslash theta so this is sine theta now we want to have a tilde on top so we do backslash tilde then we put in curly brackets so now you see that when we recompile this one as you can see let me just try to increase that as you can see the tilde is so tiny such that it's failing to cover the sine and the theta so what you do is the command that you use to correctly display your tilde is wide tilde you recompile and you see that it's nicely spread now on the sine theta here so now we write the matrix so sine theta is equal to so we want to put the big square bracket so we say backslash left for the bigger square bracket now to avoid these pink highlights we can just close the square bracket as well so we say backslash right so we just close in advance and inside there we write now begin array because now we are writing a matrix i'll put the link for the matrices in the description box you can also check for the tag on the top right corner right here so you do backslash begin array and end array so now since we are writing a three by one matrix basically there is no need for the other c so we can just do one column there since it's just one column we just have a single c there then we say backslash sine theta okay so the, the next one again backslash sine theta for this one we're going to put the regular brackets so we say backslash left but we want them to be bigger so left brackets there and then we say sine theta minus so now we are writing the fraction 
so for the fraction as well there is a video that i'm linking again on the top right corner right here we can check it out later so you say backslash frac so here this is the frac that we need here you put the numerator which is the two pi so two backslash pi and then over three then we can close our regular bracket so we do backslash right bracket so here we also need to close here this is why we are having this pink we needed another curly bracket so we we compile we have our sine sine theta minus 2 pi over 3 the next row is sine sine theta plus 2 pi over 3 so we can just copy this and change the sign so here now where there is minus we just put plus 2 pi over 3 okay so here we needed to break the line there so if you don't break the line you see that it will just continue coming on the right hand side of this so make sure that you break the line here so when we break the line you see that now it comes in the next row so now for cosine theta with the same expression we can just copy this same equation and we paste it here so here now what we are putting is cosine theta is equal to cos theta cos cos theta plus 2 pi over 3 and cos theta minus 2 pi over 3 so here what we are just changing here is uh, where there is sine we put cosine so here we say backslash cos So adding trigonometric functions in overleaf, it's just as easy as this. So for more videos like this, remember to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to like the video and thank you for watching. I really appreciate. Bye-bye.